Welcome back. Mid-Missouri rivals met in the championship game of the Capital City Baseball Invitational today. Elias and Hickman both winning twice on Friday, setting up this afternoon's rematch. The teams met earlier this week in Columbia. Elias came from behind to win that one. Crusaders scored first this afternoon. Second inning, though, Hickman's Colby Fitch with a two-run single into right. Gives Hickman a 2-1 to one lead. Stayed that way until the fourth inning. Jordan Backus, the ground ball. He is out at first, but a run scores. That ties the game up at 2-2. Later on, Crusaders had two more runs. Brock Gershner grounds to second. The throw off the mark. Two runs will come in to score 4-2 Helias, and that would end up being the final. The Crusaders win the Capital City Tournament for the first time in program history. 4-2 the final score. The host Jays playing for fifth place today facing Blue Springs at the Legion Complex. That's the Crusaders home field. Blue Springs scored the first two runs, but it was all Jays after that. Riley Klosterman's second inning single scores. Trevor Rucker made it a two to one game. Fourth inning, Klosterman at the plate again. Two outs. This fly ball gets into the wind and then nobody catches it for Blue Springs. That brings in the tying run. Jays would add one more in that inning on a throwing error. JC goes on to win this one big 8-2. Jays win 2 of 3 this weekend. You can read more about the Capital City Invitational and the Crusaders Championship run. Tom Leffler has all the details on our website. Check out Leffler's link at connectmidmissouri.com. Fatima beat Blair Oaks today at the Capital City Classic 17-9 the final. Rockbridge wins the championship game of the West Central Missouri Tournament in Sedalia beat Rockwood Summit today. Centralia over California in baseball today. Vienna falls to Bourbon. Hallsville loses a pair to Macon and Kirksville. Lynn splitting two games today. The Wildcats fall to Tipton, then come back and beat Iberia 7-3. Russellville going 1-1 one one on the day in southwest Missouri. The Mizzou football team has been hard at work the last few weeks. During spring football, the Tigers holding their first full scrimmage of the spring this morning. Gary Pinkle's Tigers stepped on for O'Field bright and early around 9 o'clock this morning. Good day for redshirt freshman linebacker Michael Shear picks off this pass of Matty Maux. He also intercepted James Franklin during the scrimmage. Two picks for him. The Tiger offense would get the scoring started on this 27 yard touchdown run. Greg White takes it in. Good day for quarterback Matty Mout. He's battling to become the starter. He had 81 yards rushing and a touchdown. 11 of 19 passing for 140 yards. James Franklin not a bad day either. 115 yards passing. Touchdown for him as well. He threw a 25 yarder to DGB. Tigers finishing up the first scrimmage. What did Coach Pinkle think? Offense going to make some plays, defense going to make some plays, but when you're doing things to beat yourself, you have no efficiency, and that's playing better, that's coaching better, and everything else. So, um, you know, there's certain things to improve on, but there's also a lot of bright spots out there, and uh, looking forward to you know, studying the film and getting better. Baggers return to practice on Tuesday. The annual black and gold spring game will be held two weeks from today. Elias Soccer playing two today at the 179 Soccer Park, opening with Visitation Academy out of St. Louis this afternoon. Second half. Corner kick, Taylor Hagenoff finds the head of Becky Roberts. 1-0 Helias with about 16 minutes to go. But Visitation scored twice in the final 10 minutes of the game winner. Off that corner, Visitation comes back, beats Helias 2-1. Better news for the Lady Crusaders in their second game. They beat Trinity Catholic 2-0 the final. Fatima in girls soccer, an overtime winner over St. Clair. Rockbridge and Hickman both coming up short in soccer today. And finally, some track and field for you. Ten Mid-Missouri schools in Wardsville today. The Blair Oaks Relays. This is David Holland of Southern Boone beating everyone to the line in the 110-meter hurdle events. Helias takes first in the 4 by 2 Jordan Walker running the relay uh, anchor leg there. Helias winning the team title on the boys' side with Southern Boone in second place. Fulton's Haley Tobias on the girls' side, the champion in the 100-meter hurdles. Owensville. Takes the first place in the team competition. The Lady Dutch won the 4 by 800 meter relay. Blair Oaks finished second on the girls' side. Helias was third. 